Tamara, where do things stand with you and your divorce from Simon? We're almost divorced. We're about two weeks away. So it's, it's close to the end. Mm -hmm. And where's your head at with that? You know, it's hard. It's not easy. Even if uh, I've moved on, he's moved on, but it's still difficult. And we don't talk. We just about the kids will text, but we don't have any other communication. How are the kids doing with your separation and divorce? They're doing good. I've had them in therapy. It's time to go back. And it's hard for them. Do they know Eddie? Not that well. I am very, very strict with the fact that when I have my kids, they're at my house. When Simon has the kids, that's the time I sit with Eddie. Well, they know Eddie now if they turn on the TV screen in a bubble bath, too. So what's your point? That's, they know Eddie now. I mean, all they have to do is pick up the television remote. Yeah, well, my kids don't watch Bravo. My kids don't yeah, watch the Yeah, my kids show. don't either, but my kid is four and knows how to use the remote. Yeah, so do mine. They don't. They know they're not so allowed to watch. School are talking about because it. Because they're not talk allowed to drink or smoke pot either. What so. are you insinuating? I'm not. I'm just. Oh, you they are. Know yeah, you are. They probably know Eddie more than you think. <laughs> okay. And if you were really so strict about sheltering them, you would think about things like that. Okay. Thank you. Coming from the mom that dropped her kids in the pool, strapped to a stroller. Yeah. While you were they doing shots. They weren't dropped into a pool, Tamara. My husband pulled them out before. Jessica from Cincinnati wrote, Tamara, all that was missing besides your self-respect was cheesy porn music. Tori from Reno, Nevada said, Tamara, you've reached a new low. I feel sorry for your kids. But then there's Penny from Lakeside, Florida, who says, the tub scene was beautiful. The love between you and Eddie was real and sweet. Tamara, live with no regrets. So Tamara, do you have any regrets? Do I regret it? No, because I don't regret anything in my life. I learned from it. What did you learn from this? That probably I shouldn't have done it. It Why? was I had a bubble bath set up, and I was just wanted to do like, kind of just the talking thing, but it just kind of got my clothes weird. fell off and his yeah, clothes fell off, and we bathed in the bathtub instead. Why don't you just shut up? Are you jealous that I have a hot man on top of me and not yeah, a vibrator so and a KY so all over the jealous. internet? I'm so jealous. I don't jealous. have my legs spread right on back. the internet. I'm so jealous. At least it's not my. Showing. I'm so jealous. That V word again is like coming up. Jealousy is overwhelming right now. Can you see it? It's like seeping uh, through my talking blood. about it. So, a lot of response from people saying, look, you're a mom. What if your kids see this? Which is what Alexis was just and bringing up. I get up. that. I get it. And do you think your kids have seen it? No. My kids are not allowed. It's court ordered. They're not allowed to watch Bravo. It's court ordered that yes. they're not allowed to watch it's Bravo? It's in our papers. They're not allowed. What judge would ever impose such a hard thing? Because I'm on, the sh I'm on the show. Simon would not allow him to be on the show, so we compromised that they're never to have the TV show on, ever. So, ladies, where do you weigh in on the, on the bathtub scene? I looked it up more beautiful than, than porn. It wasn't porn. It wasn't filthy about it. It was beautiful love that we all want in our lives. And I think that's why Tamara did it because she wanted to show the world that it's her time now and she's completely embracing this new man. I thought, you know, I, I kind of feel how Vicky did. They're in love and, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think, you know, Tamara is a good mom, so if her kids do at some point see it, she's going to explain it to I'll them. Explain and it to them. Greg from Atlanta says, Tamara, all the kissing, all the talk of sex, tell the truth. This is just your way to hurt Simon, isn't no, it? No, actually, it's not. At first, I thought, holy crap, this is really going to bother Simon. And I just had to put it out of my mind and just realize that I couldn't let him hold me back. I had to go on with my life. Life. Do you know what he thought of the bathtub scene? No. You don't? No. I mean, I can't imagine that he was pleased about it. He's had a girlfriend since three weeks after we split up. They've been together almost as long as Eddie and I have been together. So We got a lot of questions asking how and when you met Eddie. And I know that there was a lot of scuttlebutt that he was an old friend of, of yours and Simon's. Is that true? No, it's not true. Did you know him before? Yes. Did Simon know him before? He had met him. We'd both met him like three or four times. They weren't friends. Nobody had anybody's phone number. Nobody hung out together one-on-one. -on -one. None of that. Jess from Madison, Wisconsin says, Tamara, you claimed you wanted to be nicer this season, but then you threw a dig at Alexis saying you can't argue with stupid. Do you think you were nicer this season? I'm a smart ass. That's just my way of doing things. I thought she was my friend, and she bashed me this entire season. I'm sorry so, for bashing you. I am. And my husband and my kids. Your kids. I didn't bash your kids. Maybe you didn't. No. My husband. In all honesty, after Simon and I separated, I didn't really hear from you. And then I heard that you're hanging out with Simon. Did you feel like she chose Simon I kind of did. I did. We weren't taking sides. I mean, if someone's reaching out to you, you need to be there. I mean, Simon was hurting too in the divorce. I know you were hurting in the divorce. I just felt a little bit weird that they were hanging out with him. Okay. And then, of course, you know, stupid me, Simon came to me afterwards. He had a whole list of things that Jim said about me. You won't even tell me what he supposedly has said. 
To this no, day, I'm I still not don't going know. to. He knows exactly because you don't what have anything. Said. Yeah. Oh yes, you I don't do, have sweetheart. anything, Tamara. Yes, I do. Really? Because you you really? have no problem throwing punches when you do have ammunition, but for some reason you don't have any. You're, you're not saying anything. That oh, he, he called said. me a stupid bitch. She called me a whore. Really? Um, do you want me to go? My on? husband yeah. called you stupid. Yeah. Whore, and yeah. Yeah. Oh, I believe yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. Well, get the recorder out. Okay. And, and we'll get Jim involved and ask I him. I don't really care if he's around him. Maybe this is a good time to take a break.